Proposition 8 would take away rights that people have in California that are granted by the Constitution. And the Constitution of California provides that a majority cannot suppress a minority. If you read the history of marriage, what you will find is that at various times, it has been used to oppress groups that were not favored at that particular time. In this country, race was once a reason that two people could not be married and it was struck down by the U.S. Supreme Court and the California Supreme Court. Marriage isn't just religious. It's a civil ceremony run by the state. A religious uh, marriage is a different matter. And I have, on, on occasion, been in courts protecting people's right to religion. If, if you ever want to come to me and tell me somebody is preventing you from practicing your religion, whatever it is, or to some other lawyer, we're going to defend you on that. But we're not going to have you take the religion and stick it into the California Constitution any more than you would want my religion put in the California Constitution. You shouldn't attack the judges of California. What these judges did is they opened their law books, they opened the state constitution, and there it was. And they did the right thing. And they shouldn't be attacked for it because people don't like it politically. They're talking politically, they're talking religiously, but they're not talking constitutionally, and we're talking about a constitution. Once prejudice is ensconced in the state constitution, it'll be there. We're talking about our friends, our neighbors, our colleagues, people we work with, yes, relatives. I'm telling anybody that will listen, they should vote no on eight.